In medical news, a simple new test raises complicated issues. A California company is promising parents-to-be a look into the future to see if their children would be at risk for more than 100 different diseases. After the test, what do they do? Here's John McKenzie. They are eager to start a family. Ali Zwelin and her husband Steve are both in good health. But are they at risk of having children with a rare inherited disease? The answers could come from this bold new form of genetic screening. I'm confident that this is going to um, alleviate a lot of uncertainties um, and to provide peace of mind. Some doctors are unabashedly gushing about the new test. I'm very enthusiastic about this. I tell all my friends about it. You know, my girlfriends who are getting married right now, who are planning a pregnancy, I tell them, before you get pregnant, do this test. Unlike traditional genetic tests that require a blood sample to help find carriers of one specific disease, the new test uses a little saliva to look for genetic markers linked to 109 inherited diseases, from cystic fibrosis and Pompe disease to sickle cell and Tay-Sachs disease. We are looking for mutations that parents unknowingly carry. Before today, it had never been easy, convenient, and reliable to get a pre-pregnancy test at home. For $350, the samples are analyzed at this lab near San Francisco, screened simultaneously for more than 400 genetic mutations, with the results available in less than a week. If both husband and wife test positive for the same disease, there are steps they can then take, including using in vitro fertilization, where doctors could check each embryo, and implant only those that are free of the specific disease. Many geneticists we contacted, while excited about the new test, do urge caution. This new genetic test is an important first step. However, the jury is still out on whether it can deliver everything it promises. More such tests are now likely to follow, offering families a greater chance for a healthy baby. John McKenzie, ABC News, New York.